My name is Pierre. I come from uh, Liège, which is a small town in the French-speaking part of uh, Belgium. And I currently live in Antwerp, which is in the Flemish um, area of Belgium, so Dutch-speaking. Uh, I've been studying computer graphics first and then graphic design, so I come from a technical background. Um, but um, the most I was going further in my studies, the less I was actually doing graphic design and the most I was uh, attracted by doing other things which are harder to define. And, and so eventually I ended up in, um, in a master in, um, in fine arts, which was really open, really general, uh, open atelier. And so I really started to broaden my, my graphic practice to, to a bit everything. And, and no, I don't really have a specific medium, but I, um, I just um, create things using whatever medium fits the idea I want to materialize. And so it can go from, uh, from a lot of computer code and things that are really um, technical to uh, building things in the forest, for example. So um, in general, my practice is really focused about um, the process through which something meaningless becomes meaningful. So for example, letters uh, being combined into words and then words being combined to sentences, being combined into thoughts, people being combined in community and community adding something to these thoughts, for example. Um, so to work with this kind of, um, of, uh, of a transformation process, I use a lot of uh, algorithm and, uh, and computer programmation. So for example, I did recently this uh, book called AAZZZZ with every, um, every combination of uh, letters from two to five letters. So you can find any word that exists up to five letters. And it's a bit of a game that includes the audience because I invite the, um, the, the public to search for words that actually exist and to circle them um, in red in, in the books. So it's an ongoing uh, project that, uh, that is traveling from city to city and people uh, add the the meanings to the to the books and the books acquires more meaning every time. Uh, or for example, I also worked uh, in this ID using the flashing barricade lights from the street, the orange one that uh, signal danger on the public space. So I find them really interesting because uh, on their own they are just saying one thing, al always the same at the same speed, like uh, be careful, there is a hole, be careful, you are in danger. But uh, I found a way to hack them to uh, change the speed of the blinking so I can go really fast or really slow. And so I use them to trigger sound on the synthesizer, and with that I create a music piece. And so, for example, recently I had this exhibition in a Kunsthalle Hexra City in, um, in Antwerp, and I used these um, blinking lights to create a music piece that would fit the, the space. And at the same time, as it was playing the, the piece, the, um, the installation was recording the instruction for a site-specific wall painting that took place in, in the, in the, in the Kunsthalle. So since I'm in Warsaw, I'm working on uh, two different projects. The first one is a research project about the river Vistula, and it's the starting point of a wider search about rivers in general. Uh, so now I'm really into this uh, collecting phase. I'm just meeting people, uh, visiting different places around the river, um, and trying to understand what are the dynamics between the um, inhabitants of Warsaw and, and, and their river. Uh, and the second project that I'm um, now producing is a visual translation of my books a -A -Z 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 -Z. Uh, so I made a second algorithm for this one uh, that goes through Google Image and for each combination of uh, letters takes 100 pictures. So you have um, this visual translation of, uh, of uh, the meanings from A, -A to Z, Z. And the fun thing about that is that when you change location, even from like 100 kilometers, you have different results because Google is sensitive to the geographical location of the person who is running the algorithm. Uh, and so I have now a version from Antwerp that I run in my studio in Antwerp. And now I have a new one, uh, the version of Warsaw, that also includes the specific Polish letters. And so these two books are going to be uh, launched for the first time in the bookshop of the castle 